All right, so I uh, just received the Bofang uh, UV6R radio uh, from Bofang. Uh, this is Fred of VE3 FAL in Thunder Bay doing a uh, just a quick review on the radio. Uh, radio came packaged in a bubble wrap envelope. As you can see, the box is in good shape. Uh, no issues with the box, one slight little dent on the corner. Um, but I'm going to open this up for you guys just to show you what's in here. Go through it. I've got some other tests that I'm going to do. I want to charge the battery up. See how long it takes to charge the battery. Of course, I want to do some uh, kill tests on the battery. See how long it lasts. Uh, find out what programming's like. And then we'll get there from there. Uh, but this is a digital signal processing system. It says here on the box, you can see uh, Pofung. Uh, it's professional quality, user-friendly design, uh, features, long communication range, has a scrambler, not sure what that is yet, uh, noise reduction circuit, long standby time, battery save, CTCSS and DCS, and it has a high capability lithium ion battery, and it also has FM radio. So open up the box, we've got a user's manual here, uh, we can see uh, dual band transceiver, uh, user's manual, um, looks uh, fairly well written, uh, just what I've seen, I did note uh, an error on one page here, uh, pages uh, are out of uh, out of sequence and it looks like a, a reprint here on one page. Uh, and it, it just goes through the CTS tables and all the other stuff, how to restore and different items there. Then in here we've got the radio. We have the very small antenna that definitely leaves something to be desired. Uh, I don't expect a whole lot with this antenna uh, in the way of optimum performance for sure. I mean something that small uh, obviously. Uh, the SMA adapter on it. All right. We've got the uh, ear uh, piece with speaker microphone uh, for this radio as well uh, that has come with the you know earbud and microphone. It also comes with the radio. Uh, we've got the charger. We've got the belt clip. And this is the lithium ion drop charger and the small tether here. Um, for the radio and uh, not much else here in the box a little uh, pamphlet little description here as to uh, what's at the radio and the lithium ion uh, drop-in charger and of course the adapter uh, for it so that that's what came with it uh, now to look at the radio itself I haven't unpacked this yet but this is the radio I can get it out of the packaging here. Right. Obviously not just going to come out of there, so we'll tear it out of here. Alright, there we are. So, this is the UV6R uh, radio uh, from Bofang. Uh, nice and small, nice and compact as you can see here. Uh, looking at the radio, uh, just give you a little bit of a close-up here of the buttons uh, to see what's on here. Um, you know, very slim uh, design. Um, microphone speaker on this side. Uh, here it shows you. Uh, this is the on-off button. There is says welcome, displays welcome here when I turn it on. Again, I haven't charged this uh, radio yet. That will be my next step to charge it and just see what it does. Uh, this radio also comes with a LED flashlight um, on it on the top. So just another uh, feature of theirs uh, on this radio. Uh, very light uh, radio for sure. Um, you know, it's uh, extremely lightweight, uh, SMA antenna connector, 
Again, the flashlight, on off switch, uh, push to talk. Um, and of course, I've got to find out just what some of these other buttons do on here. Uh, the battery compartment here, uh, take the battery out on this. And it should slide out just like so. Very small battery, extremely slim line, uh, you know, looking at it. Um, this is the 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp hour uh, battery. And of course it says to use with the specified charger. So I just wanted to show you guys as I unwrap this, I am going to be doing a review uh, on this radio. Uh, very small, nice, small, lightweight radio for the field uh, takeout. Uh, you know, when we go out with scouts and there's a couple of us uh, ham operators, this would be ideal. Again, I have to see what the uh, time is on it uh, when it comes to uh, battery life on it to transmit and or receive or both uh, and just go from there and, and see what we get. But, you know, for, for packing in the backpack and to go uh, when we have our scout weekends and uh, trips out, I don't think you can beat this for size and uh, probably for, for value, obviously, very cheap radios. You know, a lot of these radios are running anywhere in the range of 26 to $56. And that's everything you see here in this package. That's not counting extra batteries. Uh, programming software, I haven't got any for it yet. I'm hoping to get some programming software and a programming uh, devices available. Uh, the cable to program it. And then uh, hopefully we can go from there too and do another review on some of that. So once again, just a, a quick review here. Um, of unpacking the UV6R uh, radio uh, from Bofeng and just to show you what it looks like, what comes in the package, uh, what's all there and of course we'll do some more reviews here uh, very shortly. I'm going to charge the radio up first, see how long it takes to charge the unit um, and then we're going to go from there and see if we can't program a few channels in here, uh, a few frequencies into here into some channels. Uh, channelize it a little bit, see what it does and see how it sounds and see how it performs. Uh, even on uh, FM, I'll do a little bit of reading, figure out how to get to the FM portion of the band and bring it on the local FM stations and see how that sounds on this uh, little radio. All right, so uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you like, subscribe. I, uh, I do a lot of uh, other stuff as well. Uh, amateur radio is just one of them. Of course, uh, camping, hiking, winter survival, and other things are, are some of the other things that I enjoy to do. So, if you subscribe, uh, thanks for subscribing. And if you watch, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Fred of VE3FAL in Thunder Bay uh, 73L. Cheers.